Is it cool if I am recording this? Yeah, it's okay. And upload it to my YouTube channel as... <laughs> no! No? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We should uh, see the result first, okay? <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Uh, it's, it's for learning <clears throat> uh, materials as well, right? Okay. Okay, uh... Are you ready now, Akta? Yeah. Okay. We're going to begin. We're going to start the IELTS speaking uh, final test in three, two, one. Let's go. Good evening, Okta. Good evening. How are you feeling today? I'm good today. Thank you for asking. How about you? I'm great. Thanks for asking me back. Welcome to the IELTS speaking mock-up test. I'm Haidir, and, and I'm going to be your examiner for your simulation. All right? Okay. Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, what, is your full, uh, what is your full name? My full name is Octavia Indah Rudinanda. You can call me Octavia or just Octa. Mm -hmm. And where are you from? Honestly, uh, I'm coming from Malang, but currently I'm living in Jakarta, in South Jakarta, and I'm living here from 2019. Okay, and uh, are you a student or are you uh, a worker now? Currently, I am working right now as a banker in one of government banking in Indonesia, India. So what are your responsibilities? My responsibility is verifying a document for a customer loan needed. And basically, it is something that I always do in my daily working routine. Okay. All right. Now, uh, Octavia, let's talk about school days. Okay. Tell me something about your secondary school. My secondary school, it's amazing. I can say it because of you know, I can found a good friends there and I can meet my favorite teacher, which is, you know, sometimes we we are having a good engage with a teacher and it's make me comfort or uh, like the material that she learned to me. Mm -hmm. And which subject did you find most difficult at school? At the first, at the first, uh, I can say that math is the difficult, dif is the one of the difficult subject for me. But because of, uh, I, I love how the way my teacher teach me about the math so it can be easy for me at the next. Mm -hmm. Why did you find it difficult? You know, there is a lot of uh, uh, number and then there is a lot of ways to to do some of uh, like uh, What's that? We can say, uh, in one question we can we can done it with lots of ways. Mm -hmm. So it is hard for me because sometimes I cannot find the right ways to to make it done. Mm -hmm. And do you ever need that subject now? For my work, it is not because of, you know, 
as I told before that my my responsibility is for uh, verifying a document and it is not needed for my working now. Mm -hmm. What did you enjoy about being a school student? It will be the same if you ask other people, I think, because, you know, uh, some, some things uh, or uh, things that I can enjoy while I'm as a student is to just learning something and didn't have a responsibility to to make something done like what I'm doing now at my job and then I just yeah doing doing my school mm -hmm. and right. it's fun. Mm -hmm. Let, let's move on to talk about buildings. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are there any famous buildings in your hometown? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? Yes, sure. Are there any famous buildings in your hometown? Yes, there is some famous buildings in my hometown. And what are they? If you ever heard about Mona, Oh, maybe uh, I will I will talk to you about uh, my uh, current cities mm -hmm. that I'm living now. It's Jakarta, and the famous famous uh, building in Jakarta is Monas. Everyone everyone yeah. know it, and uh, it is like a national national building, and it is. Uh, everyone can visit the place because it is open for um, for the tourists or for the the people that coming from other cities and yeah. Mm -hmm. In what type of building do most people in your hometown live? Mm, I can say that it's it's not. Um, like a apart an apartment or like a highest building. It's just a landing house, a landed house. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, and should buildings be attractive to look at? You think? I think yes, because sometimes we. See the buildings from the facet and at the first one we can see is uh the color like the color or the shapes and it is should uh, make us interest with that things so I can say that the buildings should attractive for everyone that looking for all right, I think that's enough for the first part. Now, okay. I want you to have your own uh, a piece of paper and a pencil. Have you got it? Yes. All right. I already have it. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to the second part, yes? Okay. All right. In the second part, I'm going to give you a cue card consisting of uh, four questions, a topic and four questions. You have one time, uh, sorry, you have a uh, one minute preparation time. And then afterwards, you you have to speak and answer the questions for about one to two minutes. Do you okay. understand? Yes. All right, I'm going to share my slide. And it's going to be your uh, cue card. Okay. So I want you to describe about... An interesting story that you heard or read about in the news. Can you see my slide already? Yes, I can see it. You have one minute. Starts now. Okay.
All right, the time is up. Uh, okay. Have to stop writing now. The time for taking notes has been finished. Okay. Uh, you have one or two minutes to speak about the topic. You may start speaking now. Okay. I'm going to tell you about the story that I heard uh, last week, honestly. It is about Blackpink concert. You you must be heard about it too because it is viral in everywhere. Uh, and you know why the news is interesting for me because of Blackpink concert in the main stadium, Gelora Bung Karno. And uh, they are the first girl group on or, or Korean girl group that that held the concert there. So it was so amazing, I think, because uh, everyone cannot uh, do that except them. And then it must be so broad because of uh, they can help the concert with a lot of people there. And the capacity was huge, and uh, everyone can like uh, so the amazing concert from the Blackpink as the famous uh, girl, girl group from Korea. And why the story was in the news because I think it is uh, uh, the first concert or big concert after the pandemic so it it's going viral and every media is reported about this concert and honestly uh everyone around me like my friends or my co-workers is uh telling me about this this concert too and and they are so Proud and amazed too with this with this concert and All right. the time is yeah. up. Thank you so much, okay. Octavia, for that story. All right. Okay, let me just adjust my screen. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Talking about uh, the news that you have heard or read, uh, let's talk about, I'm going to ask you uh, general questions about newspapers. Okay. okay. Uh, Octavia, when do people like to read the newspaper? Sorry, I'm going to repeat the question. When do people like to read the newspaper? I think everyone always read the newspaper in the morning to before they start the activities like going to office or going to school and yeah mostly people do it in the morning. And how important is it for people to have a choice of newspaper? I think it's so important because, you know, uh, every newspaper have their a failure, uh, no fail, uh, not a failure. I mean, like uh, we can reduce some like a uh, fake or hoax news. So everyone should should choose the right newspaper that that they should read and uh, the content in the newspaper. And yep, I think it's important. Okay. And what does a good newspaper contain, you think? Honestly, lately I'm not read a newspaper again because I just read a uh, news uh, online like in the compass in compass but i i think jakarta post is the one of the best newspaper that we can read 
Why do you think so? Because the content is up to date and Jakarta Post have a good sense to inform us about the news that she'll deliver to a community and yep, I think the content is good. Let's uh, move on to talk about the future of newspapers, uh, Octavia. Okay. Why do some people choose to read the news on the internet rather than in a newspaper? Honestly, I can say that everyone has lots of activities nowadays and everyone needs to change from the oldest habit to the newest one, like uh, reading a newspaper in everywhere and, in, and they, they need some easiest ways and they choose to read it on uh, gadget or their smartphone. And I think, yep, I think it's the main reason why they choose to read it online. Mm -hmm. How is internet news different from the news you read in the newspaper? I think it's, there is no difference about the content because, because I, I think it's the same just, just, just for the media, like uh, maybe from the newspaper, we, we read it a hard copy or uh, from the paper base, but in uh, from online, we, we just hanging on our smartphone and can read it online. Yep, just it. All right. Uh, and the last question is, will internet news ever replace newspapers, you think, in the future? Maybe yes. It's imp uh, it's possible. I I I can say it's possible because, you know, nowadays everyone have their gadget like a smartphone or iPad or laptop, and the gadget is always in their hand every day, like every minute. So I think possible to to change newspaper, uh based on paper or hard copy to, to online or internet. Yep. All right. Thank you very much, Okta. Uh, I, uh, I think that is the end of this IELTS uh, speaking simulation. I'll see you again in the next one. Okay, thank you so much. Yay. <laughs> what was it? Uh, what do you think about your own performance, Okta? Better <laughs> than <Yeah>. last week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> menurut aku, coherence, cohesion, fluency, dan like cycle mm. result aku tuh aman di sini. <laughs> okay. uh, acceptable lah. Enam, enam uh -huh. lah. Enam setengah. Uh, <laughs> tapi, uh, I notice memang ada beberapa pronunciation sama gra yang agak error. Tapi, it's okay. Ini kan half-half ya. Semua yeah. aku ini jauh lebih baik daripada sebelumnya. Yeah. Well done, Octavia. Okay. Yeah. Sekarang... I have more confidence. I know, right? Ya, yeah, yeah. yeah. Itu sangat show banget sih. Kelihatan yeah. kamu pede banget sama jawabanmu. And it's really good. Congrats. Thank you. Berarti boleh di-upload ya di YouTube. <laughs> it's okay. Boleh. Buat pembelajaran bagi yang lain yang menonton biar bisa kayak Octavia speaking-nya after 21 uh, hours belajar ya. Yeah. Thank you, Octa. Oke. Okay.